We have visited salvage yards all across the country, but one of the great things about working right here in Boston, it being one of our oldest cities, is that we have so much rich material right in our own backyard. And this afternoon, we are in a salvage facility that is less than two miles from our project house, and we're working with a gentleman who's been in the business for more than 20 years, Bill Raymer. Hey, Bill. Good hey, to see Kevin, you. How are you? Very good, thank good you. Good to see you. So um, tell us about some of your greatest hits. What are folks buying from you guys? Well, mostly the key items would be uh, antique fireplace mantles. We sell a lot of antique restored hardware, mm -hmm. uh, stained glass windows, lighting, plumbing sure. fixtures. So it's a whole array of antique material. And some fireplace mantles? Absolutely. We have a lot of fireplace mantles. Terrific. And you guys don't have to go that far for these things, do you? Uh, no, because we're right in downtown Boston here. There's yep. so much great you know, history and architecture here. Like um, this guy, who are we looking at here? Well, this is a plaster uh, statue of um, Hermes, one of the Greek gods, okay? And What's the good, his story? Well, the story is that, amazingly enough, this was made in the Caproni factory that made plaster statuary, which is right next door to our building here on Washington Street. Oh, no kidding. So the original factory for this was about 20 feet away. No, so Hermes Amazing. has not traveled far over the years, has not he? Not traveled far. He's come full circle. Wonderful. All right, well, you've got such a fantastic facility here and so Thanks. many um, great items. Show us some more. Well, over here we have some uh, granite corbels that came from the Boston City Hospital Administration building, mm -hmm. uh, a late 1800s building that was torn down probably about six years ago. Yep. And so who's going to um, take something like this off your hands, or, or what are they going to use it for? Something like this is generally used in the garden as an accent piece oh. and just a decorative item. I could see that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, the wrought iron, what's its story? Well, this is a, a decorative wrought iron piece that was a window guard. And this came from the Area D police station, which is in the south end. Oh, that's terrific. And they turned that building into condominiums, as so many, you know, has happened over the last few years. Great character, and I bet you that could tell some stories. Mm -hmm. You've even got some um, fine musical instruments, a piano. Well, we have this old um, chickering piano that was made in the 1830s. Yep. And the chickering piano factory, uh, again, like the Caproni building, was two blocks from us here. Wow. So another item that's, you know, come back uh, close to its roots. So do I have to be a lover of fine music or know how to play a piano to want to take this off your hands? Well, actually, it's not a great piano, but it's a great piece of furniture. Really? So what people will often do is they'll turn it into something else, like perhaps a desk. Mm. You can take the inside out and make a nice desk out of it. Got it. Or you can take this top down. It has a beautiful hardwood top. You can lower this down and uh, a do-it-yourselfer. I have a woodworker make this into a beautiful table. That is a great idea. You just turn these things. A lot of the architectural things can be turned into something else and reused, Got it. repurposed. Well, we have a specific use in mind, and mm -hmm. that is we want to replace a fireplace mantle, and I'm hoping you've got a lot of those. We do. We have a lot of wood and marble fireplace mantles. We're looking so, for marble. Well, we got them. Let's have a look. Boy, you weren't kidding, Bill. You got quite the selection here. We have a great collection of marble mantles. You know, we've been taking them out of Boston houses, greater Boston houses, for about 20 years. So do you guys actually do the work taking them out? We do. We like to do our own removal because they're so fragile. Mm -hmm. uh, what we do is take them apart carefully, piece by piece, bring them back here, and set them up for display. Where would I have seen a mantle place like this? What type of house? What era? Well, these uh, most of the ones on display are from the late 1800s, yeah. and they would be in either townhouses in the uh, in the downtown area or in uh, greater Boston uh, probably you know medium and up type housing uh, I'm assuming this is more of an upscale housing this one is, here. this, is, a this is definitely an upscale house this one is uh, has a lot of detail this is the white marble not yeah. the Carrera which is white and gray unfortunately as beautiful as it is um, as you know from the pictures and the dimensions we sent mm -hmm. you this is way too big for our house this is too big but I think we have something that you can use I have a couple over here I'd like to show you because um, we are also looking for Carrera marble well this one's Carrera which is the white with a little bit of gray mm -hmm. and okay. it looks like the dimensions the width and height that we're looking for right yeah, these dimensions are uh, perfect for your application uh, it has the cast iron surround, which yep. closes the firebox opening. The reason for that is because these generally burn coal. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, so about the right dimensions, um, the right material, although as I look at the details, these don't seem to stack up correct. Well, this Corbell uh, here with the scallop shape carving yep. is not really. Uh, the design that I saw in, in your photographs. No, so. and, and nor is the uh, the crest here in the center. No, the keystone isn't right for you. This one's kind of a medallion shape thing, and you need something a little bit different. Do you have something a little bit different that might match? Well, I have another one here that is Carrera. Ah, okay. okay. This is uh, good uh, dimensions for you. Yep. The size is good. 
And the detailing here on the front actually looks pretty good. Yeah, this is really close to what you showed me. Gotcha. Okay. Um, the keystone, as you call it, however, this does not look like what we have. Am I being too picky here? <laughs> well, not really. The keystone, this is the one that came on this mantle. Yeah. The good thing is that we have extra keystones, and they are interchangeable, okay? So I came up with this one here, which is very close to the one that I saw on the photograph. So we can swap out these keystones. Boy, we have come to the right place. We can take this keystone when this is installed, and this can be attached or epoxied to this fireplace mantle, and then you're going to have the look that, you know, mm -hmm. was there originally in the house. That is great news. So what does something like this cost? A uh, mantle like this uh, retail uh, is about $2,500. Right. But of course, I know that this project you're working on is for affordable housing. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we'd like to help you out with this and see if we can make it work. Well, that would be terrific, Bill. We would love to take you up on that offer because we'd love to get a beautiful piece like this in our house. So well, thank you. Let's do it. Let's put Very it in Very much. And thank you for showing us around. You've got a fantastic selection here. It's my pleasure. I'm glad you came in. Well, that is a beauty. That's a beauty.